Yo, what is going on everybody? This is your boy Nim, aka just regular old Spider-Man. Just, just regular old, your average everyday neighborhood Spider-Man. Just the regular one. <laughs> I kept putting up all the other Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And uh, somebody complained, how come you ain't got regular Spider-Man? <laughs> well, there, there you go. Regular Spider-Man, all right? All right, there we go. We good. Today, we got a dude that goes by the name of Starks TV. This man calls himself the Roast God. Uh, so, uh, one, uh, one of his videos was sent to me via Twitter. If you want to send me a video, you can send it to at NimRaps. The video is called The Awful NBA Shoe Deal Roast. <laughs> I watched like the first 30 seconds of it and um, I began to chuckle. I went ahead and downloaded his other uh, video too. It's part two to this video. So, I'm, I'm just going to combine them both into one video. So, without much further ado, here we go. Oh my God. The NBA, the National Basketball Association, changing people's lives, man. The thing that I hate, though, is y'all let these motherfucking shoe companies come in and give these motherfucking players these contracts. Exhibit A, Dame Lillard, an absolute beast on the court animal for the Portland Trailblazers. He signed a deal with Adidas for this new signature shoe to come out. Y'all see it, and I see it too. The thing is, Adidas and Dame is asking over $100 for these kicks. I'll never pay that much. Bruh. Bruh. If you don't get these, all I got is $30 left to my name as shoes on out of here. This motherfucking built-in sock, man. Nigga got some ergo to the mailboxes. That motherfucking cafeteria lady colorway on, nigga. We ain't got no more green beans. All we got is peas and cone. Shoe having ass, nigga. I guess you thought if you do them leather, all one solid color, these motherfuckers would be heat. No, sir. They still look orthopedic in the motherfucker. Trying to make them like Yeezys. Oh, my God. My nigga James Harden. That's funny. Fear the beard. He got him a contract with no, Adidas, No, cheer too. the beard. Hey, man, it's a big thing for him, man. He used to be six man of the year with the Oklahoma Thunder. Came to the Houston Rockets, changed the face of the franchise. Now he's the man. Started beasting Shoe contract, big money. Man, look at these smushed paper towel ass shoes, nigga. Them is the shoes you get when you first cut the game on. You got to win 10 games, nigga, to unlock another colorway. These motherfuckers look like a pack of folded napkins. Oh. These motherfucking air my feet hurts. Yeah, James, we got you the all Terry Cloth basketball shoe. Terry Cloth. Absorb sweat mid jumper. And this goes to show you that every basketball shoe deal ain't a good shoe deal. What? This nigga Clay Thompson signed a deal with Li Ning in China. He went to them and said, uh, make my shit look like uh, front porch furniture. Real vibrant. I'm glad to see him take Real vibrant. Because light-skinned niggas been winning there since Drake body meat. Look at that nigga face. Man, this some bullshit. Nigga shoes look like two Super Nintendo controllers. Niggas ashamed of him and shit. He brought them in the arena in a Hirachi box. Signed the shoe deal, I don't they like said. Hirachis. It'll be dope, they said. And he got on some air racials. And Dwayne air Wade, he racials. never had no luck with shoes. Shit, this is when he look was at with Dwayne Converse. Wade Some motherfuckers shoes. look like waterproof family reunion shoes in this bitch. And Dwayne Wade been with three different companies. He went to Nike, Jumpman, and then they made these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers was worse than the first pair. Look, there's a speaker on the and side of the shoes. shoes got a built-in sink drain on them motherfuckers. Then he signed a deal with Lee Ning way before Clay Thompson. They made these shoes, and they seemed kind of all right. But then they wanted 150 for these motherfuckers. Bitch, if you don't get these air, kill yourself out this motherfucker. Then you had a couple big dogs in the game come through like Shaq. Hey, what's wrong with the these? motherfucking Reebok pumps. Them motherfuckers was hard body. Hard body. Oh, yeah, yeah. These... Then all of a sudden, nigga just said, fuck No, it, not his new shoes. I'm going to let these motherfucking niggas with all left hands make my shit. I think they sell those on Walmart. Shoe that somebody could snowboard in and shoot a free throw at the same time. Come on, Shaq, with them stiff-ass boots, man. Come on, Shaq, man, with these Yo, motherfucking these restaurant shoes. edition Air Maxes, nigga. Look at the jump, man. I'm trying not look to like the niggas putting in a light bulb. Oh, my God. And then sometimes even the greats have a lapse in judgment. I mean, Jordan got the best selling shoe ever. You know what I mean? And he let these motherfuckers say, make this oh shit on the Walmart God. laptop. In this <laughs> nigga got some Air. I just got out. Those By these, you get a base model Camry, nigga. Buy one, get Base the rest of them camera. free looking ass shoes, nigga. Oh my god. I'm not gonna front. Oh this is part god. two. Guys, I'm not gonna front. I chuckled. We back at it again. The NBA. 
providing opportunities to athletes, and these shoe companies keep coming in and taking advantage of these guys. First up, Stefan Marbury. He wanted to come <gasps> no. out with a shoe that's both affordable I own these. and it looks good. He accomplished one of those things. They were real cheap. It's affordable. They were real For $15, cheap. $15. You can get this $15. shoe that looks like a skate without the wheels I on it. I got them from Stephen Barry's. They come defunct on, Marbury, company man. now. Spicy beef dip head ass boy. These ugly ass shoes. Then you try to come out with the all whites. Nigga over like, yeah, man, went to an all white party. I had My the white gray ones. So I couldn't get no hoes for the night. I bet you the development team was like, with the air no hoes, we developed the dual technology to where you could shoot a jumper and get no hoes at the same time. Wow. I mean, my nigga really thought he was going to corner the Look market with that. this shit. I mean, you got some new balances on the left, and you got some goddamn no balances on the right. Oh, my God. And <laughs> if you it. ever want to break up with okay, your girl, he got me. He got shit, me. just get up prayer Look these air, I don't want you no more, isn't it? <laughs> Somewhere in America, it's a bitch like, ooh, I got some lingerie to go with that, though. <laughs> oh, then we move over to one of the best men's. basketball players in the world, Kobe Bryant, who got his deal Kobe, early in the game. You Adidas. never had good-looking shoes. And they fucked this nigga straight over, <laughs> shoe after shoe. He got it worse than Dwayne Wade. They designed this nigga shit on the motherfucking computer that had a virus on that bitch. These motherfucking melted candle looking ass shoes. Melted candle. Shit, I know Kobe popular and all, but you wear these bitches to the park, you are not getting picked up. I know I haven't had anybody in here since your father passed, but I want y'all to meet Terry. Looking ass shoes. <laughs> Man, the Adidas came out with these yacht looking ass shoes. These motherfuckers is ugly, dog. They look like a real fast ass Jeep. Shit's like a durable ass beer cooler. Pew 36 explosive space modulator. Looking at shoes. <laughs> Come on, Kobe, with these motherfucking driveway colored ass shoes. Goddamn Air Robocops, nigga. Oh, shit. You are under arrest. <laughs> nigga, not in those. He put Marvin the Martian. I always thought these bitches was inspired there. by the stainless barbecue grill. <laughs> this is an ugly ass shoe design, man. That's these ugly, motherfuckers dude. look like Ford Tauruses. <laughs> Difficult wisdom tooth looking ass shoes. You don't put these motherfuckers on, you install them. Bring it together. Motherfuckers Bring got together. Toyota Tundra paint on them, nigga. Possum home looking ass shoes. Possum home? Star Wars Stormtrooper boot looking ass shoes. Oh, glory! Prescription praise and worship moccasin looking ass oh, shoes. Oh, glory! <laughs> Whoop a kid with these, you go in jail for manslaughter. Oh. Everybody had their July 4th theme kicks, and then Kobe came out Look with these some mama bitches. Looking like two patriotic ass electric staplers. <laughs> then Adidas got desperate. These are the ones that never came I out. Those These ones are the final up. Kobe's from Adidas. Kobe said, fuck that shit and went with Nike and they laced his ass straight up. Motherfucking orthopedic Kobe system nines in this I bitch. had some of these shoes, guys. 40 claps a game in these bitches. Especially those Starberries, because I was like, I'm tired of paying ouch, $100 for the Jordans. Ouch. Ah, fuck. Ah. And I don't know Ooh. what the fuck Chris Paul was doing with these Jordan brand shoes, this Argyle man. shit. They got some, er I lost the bets, nigga. <laughs> this motherfucking weak-ass State Farm colorway. <laughs> Only people to wear these motherfuckers is black dudes with white girlfriends and niggas that you know ain't gonna pay you back. Let me borrow $20, fam. Hell nah, nigga. Look at your shoes. <laughs> don't ever forget Chris Webber and these ugly-ass Dada shoes, now. nigga. Who the fuck plays Dada, basketball Dada, in Dada's, Dada's, Dada. nigga? You know these shoes ain't shit if they your signature shoe and you still wear ankle bracing them bitches. <laughs> Get these Riddles rap ass shoes the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> these motherfuckers fuck up all radio frequency within a hundred mile radius. Oh my god. <laughs> Nigga shoes look like two to-go plates. Yeah. Nigga hoop twice in them, melt them bitches down and make a necklace out of them hoes. Oh wow. Then Dada came out with this motherfucking living room colorway. Nigga got a hardwood floor on the side of his shit. Wasn't Dada made by Dame if you Dash? You wear wood grain Dada's, you don't so. love God. Plain and simple. Then Dada signed Latrell Spreewells. Made these summer bitches. And put some spinning rims on the side of the goddamn Y'all remember Spreewells on vehicles? They made a shoe just like that. Niggas. Like real talk, the shoes you could spin the rim on the side of the motherfucker shoe. <laughs> Dada don't give a fuck about Americans. <laughs> you wear these to court, you're going to be found guilty in a motherfucker. <laughs> Ten years, I was just three miles over the speed limit. I'm Judge Joe Brown, and nobody will wear a mockery of shoe in my courtroom like that. You're in contempt. Dada came out with a chrome shoe. They got a speak on that bitch. Your feet don't even have ears, my nigga. I can see somebody's uncle coming to the family barbecue and these motherfuckers like, <laughs> watch out that now. Y'all don't know nothing about this, man. Yeah. Uh, get the fuck out of my house. 
Derrick Rose signed with Adidas too. Yeah, I ain't gonna spend too much time on these. We know all his shits is ugly. Mm. But if you see a nigga in a pair of these, just know he's in between jobs at the moment. <laughs> LeBron came out with these LeBron 13s after having such success with his last five releases. I don't know why the fuck he came out with these ugly son bitches. Ugly. These motherfuckers look like you can only buy these bitches on Finger Hut. You <laughs> still want top dollar for these bitches. I got 250 reasons why I won't get these motherfuckers. Goddamn er Epsom salt ass shoes. <laughs> John Wall ain't had no luck with shoes either. Yikes. He started out with Reebok. They stopped making basketball shoes. Got signed by Adidas. They came out this butch dyke ass colorway. Got girls over at Tom Bay. Yeah, bro, you like my shoes? Shut up, bitch, before I dick your ass down. I ain't with that gay shit, bro. Nigga with this Wall Street Journal ass colorway, man. Fuck out of here. Nigga. <laughs> Look at newspaper. And who would have ever thought in the fucking world that Joe Kim Noah would have a shoe deal? I don't even know who the fuck this nigga's company is. What is but the that? nigga got a roost on the side of his shoe. <laughs> you don't get these old Oktoberfest ass shoes out of here, nigga. You forgot you light skinned, nigga. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this video has been brought to you by comedian Larry Starks. To see the rest of my videos, follow the hashtag StarksVids. And follow me on ChristianMingle.com under Larry Lord's Rod. I watched the first 30 seconds of it. I was like, okay, this is kind of amusing. But this dude keeps going, oh my god. <laughs> he roasting the hell out of those shoes. <laughs> man, why'd you have to roast my Starberries though, man? Look, I was going years buying Jordans and Reebok pumps. I actually had those Shaquille O'Neal Reebok pumps back in the 90s. I had to buy them a little, a size too big because that was during my growth spurt. So I, I was running around the playground with these big ass shoes tripping over my own feet. <laughs> but yeah, Shaq was like, no, 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 I, I got to do this for the kids. So now he's selling his shoes on Walmart and Target, and those things last maybe three weeks. <laughs> but the Starberries, he was selling those at a store called Stephen Berry's that I used to frequent because they had some really cool shirts for a really cheap price. That store is now defunct, that whole company. I think they uh, bit off a little bit more than they could chew. Those were the worst looking shirts <laughs> But I picked, I picked up, I picked up a pair. I picked up a pair of gray ones. Yo, those shoes lasted maybe 24 hours. <laughs> hey, this dude's funny. Uh, I actually laughed this time. Go support him. Follow him on whatever he just said at the end of the video. You know, y'all go, y'all go check the boy out. We, we let, let's talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't really get to talk to each other anymore. I know it's Mondays. Try not to laugh, but let me, uh, let me give you guys a little bit of rundown of what's been going on around here. Uh, last week. Two people uh, did covers to two of my songs and they sent me the links to their pages and they're gonna be right here and right here. Uh, you need to go check them out, show them some love, okay? Don't go over there and start hating. They did a great job, I'm very proud of them. I, I feel very uh, honored that they chose to do a cover of one of my songs. Uh, one guy did Street Fighter, the other guy did the X XCOM 2 song. Uh, yo, go check them out, man. You can see I'm cheesing, right? <laughs> uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I, I, I only buy one Blu-ray a year. I, like I said, I only buy one Blu-ray a year. Marvel's Avengers 2012. Elysium 2013. Guardians of the Galaxy 2014. Straight Outta Compton 2015. Best movie of 2015, bar none, hands down. I don't care what you got to say about it. Uh, if you have not seen this, go ahead and check it out at your local uh, grocers. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think they're about to do a Tupac movie because of the success of this movie. So any rap biopics that come out, you can thank Straight Outta Compton for it. Number next, I'm thinking about bringing back all the old school videos that I used to do on this channel. Uh, stuff like Nim Raps the Top 10, uh, Week of the Geek, maybe some game trolling videos. If you guys would be interested in uh, me bringing back some of my older content, uh, then leave a thumbs up on this video. If this video gets a thousand likes, I don't care if it gets 900 likes, I don't care if it gets 200 likes. But this video needs to get a thousand likes if you guys want me to bring back some of the old content like Week of the Geek and Nim Raps Top 10 because I like doing it, but I'm not gonna do it if nobody's gonna watch it. That's just the way it is. You know, I do YouTube because I want people to look at the stuff that I'm putting up. 
If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more reactions, raps, and roast. And like I said, if you leave a thousand thumbs up on this video, then I will bring back all of my old content. I'm only expecting you guys to give me about 300 likes, so I really don't give a dirt. But anyway, holla back at your boy. Peace.